Okay, now you have uh, already um, installed Anaconda. So the first thing we need to do is open Anaconda, type in Anaconda in your search bar and then click Anaconda to open the Anaconda prompt window. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is um, you go ahead uh, to C, um, C directory in your uh, machine and create a uh, you know test folder if you want or or you can just create something like courses or just whatever fo you know folder name that you want and once you create that um, you know folder you just um, go ahead and then change the directory in the anaconda prompt okay so I'll just get rid of that in my case since I already have you know courses folder here so this is where I need to change the uh, my current working directory so to do that I'll, I'll um, type in CD um, and then paste my um, folder this is the folder that I'll be working um, you know on and also all my you know um, Python scripts are my Jupyter notebooks are saved for the entire course. So I'll change the current directory to this by, you know, writing, as I mentioned, CD, that means change directory to C colon um, slash courses. In your case, you can create, uh, you know, different folder name instead of courses, okay? So now onwards, um, if I type CD, that means it will change to C course. So my current working directory is this one. Um, uh, where is that? Okay, here it is. Um, so this is, yeah, the courses, yeah. So in your case, you can change it uh, if you want to change it. Um, so that's the first thing. So we have the, you know, our course, um, um, our working directory is changed. So the next thing is to um, check the Anaconda version that we have in the Python version. To do that, we type in Conda info. Usually Conda info would provide you, you know, your best environment in the Python version, things like that. So the Conda version you have here and the Python version is here. So you have Python 3.7. So in, in this case, we're working with Python 3, specifically Python 3.7. You know, this is, you don't have to worry about all this, but just as this is for you to know, you know, if you're, if, if you're interested to understand the details of the different, um, you know, configuration and environment, you know, base environment information of the specific Anaconda version that you have here is, you know, some details. You don't necessarily need this, but you know, if if you're interested in, that's how you uh, can um, explore the Anaconda version and the Python version that you have already installed. All right, the next thing is it's a very important step. You need to create your environment. So you need to create your Conda environment. That means once you have created a Conda environment, you'll activate it and you'll be working on that environment for the entire course, okay? So uh, to create your environment, what we need is we need to type Conda um, create in and then the name of your environment that means the environment that we want to work the you know the python uh, conda environment um, i will name um, as ee because we're working on earth engine you can name it differently but if you want to have an exact environment uh, like mine it really doesn't matter this is the name of the environment so write ee python inf usually i add some something like inf for my environment so that I remember it's a working environment. So this is the name of the environment. So Conda create and, um, and the name of the environment, uh, EE Python in. You can change this name if you want, but you know, for me, um, for this course, this is the environment that I'll be working on, okay? So EE Python environments, once I um, click that, 
it will create the environment so that I can work on uh, throughout the course. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's an appropriate uh, error message because I already have an environment with this name. It doesn't create, but for you, that's how you create your environment. Instead of creating on my side, I'll actually activate the, the environment. Before I do that, um, let's um, list the number of environment we have here. If, you, if you're interested, you can do conda in list. You can hit enter. Uh, in, in my case, I have multiple environments, so I'll activate um, uh, the environment that's that that I have already created e Python environment so conda activate e, e Python inf so what it what this um, does is it will activate the environment so that I can install package and run the earth engine Python you know API and things like that okay so every time you once you activated this um, you just simply need to run the different you know Python notebooks um, to run the Python API on our engine but if you, sh you know, if you uh, turn off your computer you need to do this every time you open you know this uh, conda environment okay you need to activate this okay I'll activate my environment my environment is activated you can see that it's changed from base now to EE Python environment so I'm now in that you know Arzingent Python environment so everything I do will be you know running in this environment okay so the next um, probably the last thing is um, to this you know setting up and activating our environment is just simply um, uh, opening a Jupyter notebook so mind you that we have I've said that when you install Anaconda in the Anaconda software um, um, you know have shown you that there are uh, d different products um, all right let's click this so there are there are different uh, you know packages and these are you know scientific libraries that you can use for data science uh, but mostly in this case we'll be using the Jupyter notebook um, to run our earth engine Python you know uh, notebook or scripts okay so that you know um, so I'll write Jupyter Notebook to open a Jupyter Notebook. It's installed already as part of the Anaconda, um, you know, package, uh, the Anaconda platform in the installment. I'll hit enter and it will automatically open a Jupyter Notebook for me here. Okay, fantastic. So I'm in my current working directory. Uh, this is where I saved my, my script uh, here for this course. Um, so, for example, I'll open one of my first uh, notebook, which is already um, you know existing. So I'll 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 try to open that and then um, you know run it. 